as you might know, one big change in version 3.0 is moving to web application model, which requires extensions to be compiled. Here I have extension uploaded to the gallery that follows old rules, where extension deployed as C-sharp code. To fix this, I will take code file, the one with extension.cs, and compile it into a library DLL. In this case it is a single file, but for some extensions there can be multiple. I can extract any file from NuGet package by saving it as standalone, so that I can copy it content into Visual Studio. The name of the extension should be always the same as package ID. I copy it here so I can use it for project and class names. Extension has dependency on Block Engine itself, so I started by launching Block Engine application in Visual Studio 2013. Uh, for this new extension, I need to add another project to solution. This project should be C Sharp class library, so it will be compiled into its own DLL. The name of the project will be the same as name of extension and package, excluding version number. When Visual Studio creates a new project, it adds default class that I can remove right away and add my own, again using package ID as class name so they match. It is important because Blog Engine uses extension class name to find it in the list of installed packages and if they don't match, uh, there can be issues updating and uninstalling extension. So I'll copy-paste code extracted from NuGet package, which I expect to work fine. Uh, but as you can see, Visual Studio complains about types and namespaces it can't find. This is because new project need a reference to Blog Engine's core library, where those types defined. Uh, for extensions simple like this, uh, it is the only dependency, but for most extensions we would probably need to add more references, such as system.web uh, that used a lot. But here I only need to add reference to core library and do couple finishing touches by removing unneeded references and fixing version number uh, that should match the one in the package. Uh, in this case it is uh, 3012 if I'm not mistaken. Okay, it looks like I'm ready to build extension. I'll switch to release mode and run build process. Uh, this will generate a DLL file ready to be distributed to applications bin folder. Next step is to take DLL created by Visual Studio and add it to NuGet package instead of source code. Uh, the source files now can be safely removed. Even if we leave them in the package, they will simply be ignored by IS. Uh, NuGet package has two important folders at root level, uh, content and lib. Anything in content will be moved to application root and files in the lib or library will go under applications bin folder. Uh, because we distribute extension as binary DLL, I'm adding lib folder and dragging my DLL to it. And code files under content just go away, they no longer need it. After extension submitted and accepted in the gallery, it should appear in the Blog Engine's gallery list and can be installed to the blog. Uh, any installed extension, not surprisingly, uh, can be found under Extensions tab. Uh, 
some extensions have settings that can be accessed from this list, uh, but GIST extension is a really simple one and can only be disabled if needed. To verify it works as expected, I need to add GIST tag to the post and make sure it will be transformed into a GIST widget. I have this number copied from random GIST on GitHub site and people installing this widget probably uh, don't need explanation on what this number is. What important is you need to add GIST and ID inside brackets uh, for extension to work. Now I save post and go to website to verify it worked. When patch refreshes, I expect to see GIST widget appear right where I added tag uh, with GIST ID inside post. And as you can see it did, which means extension works and it concludes this little exercise. Thanks for watching.